this resolution is a fantastic summary of all the comments that uh, you've heard each of us make from the dais over the last three months. Um, I do think it's quite a coincidence that um, this particular resolution follows uh, the Juneteenth one we just read. Um, you know, it reinforces um, our commitment to protecting the inalienable rights that our founders gave um, to every citizen in this nation. And we are protecting those for El Paso County citizens. Um, you know, I have tremendous respect for the office of the governor, um, but I equally respect our judicial and legislative branches. And uh, you heard in the resolution that there were several examples of um, of where the executive power has has reached um, reached over into both of those. Um, I specifically know of several election law cases that ended up in the judicial branch, um, and I think we will see a few more headed that way from both legislative um, and judicial. So um, I am in full support of this resolution, and I think you know it really highlights uh, really what any elected leader has. Um, has to keep focused on a very strategic picture of um, of big picture, uh, long-term effects, and uh, making sure that we are all staying within our lanes, um, and yet using the um, the powers um, or uh, presence that we are given to make an impact. And I think there's a way to work within the structure. Our um, designers of our state constitution were pretty brilliant in that as well. So there is a way for all of us as elected leaders to work within the uh, guardrails of, of what we're given to truly uh, do great things for the state. And I think that by staying, um, by recognizing where those are, where we can impact um, the best and most appropriately is is key to our moving forward as a state.